Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with a new process video for the HipKit Club and today is Sketch Friday and we also got a little receipt and I will link you to the member forum so that you can uh, have a look on it. And I started this project with one of the new cut files for November, the star wreath and I backed the open stars with some pattern papers and some um, and the green papers from one of the exclusive pocket life cards. I'm scrapping a cute picture from a little one years ago and that picture was taken around uh, Christmas and um, I totally love that picture because he is the cutest and yeah. So I also did a lot of fussy cutting and pre-looking into the kits just because everything is just gorgeous and um, I just need some time to make my choices and yeah. So I used um, three um, from the trees and a little penguin and a present and first I just wanted to have um, green, blue and a touch of black and white but I decided against it and I, also, um, I will also bring in some red. Um, yeah, I did a little cut, a little break and I glued everything together just because there are so many little pieces and I knew when I when I start to move it I will not get it back like I wanted to have and so I just take the time or took the time to glue everything together and now I'm just placing some foam tape behind um, the stars and the picture and then I will um, work on some color on my background. <clears throat> Um, I will grab one of the magical powders from the color kit and the color called Oom Papa Pink, I believe. And it's just a pretty um, pink color with a golden finish on it. And I um, totally love it. There's no pink in my layout, but I have red going on. And so red and pink is, yeah, you know, I just wanted to have a hint of color peeking out from behind. I'm just bringing in some more of um, the powder and some more water um, to get some color behind the picture. And um, yeah, I totally love to work with the Lindy's, um, with the Lindy colors and the magical powders are always my favorites. Um, yeah, you can see that I uh, already have uh, cut some paper strips for the edges from my layout and um, I'm going with wood grain and with the um, black and white snowflake paper. <clears throat> Now I'm just peeling off um, the backing from the foam tape and then I will glue everything down and um, yeah, then I will work on my title and some more little bits and pieces. I will um, use the red word uh, Christmas as my title but um, first I'm going with the black and white one and I will change my mind about it again so um, you will see the finished um, title or the yeah, the finished title at the at the end. Just gluing down um, the strips on the top and on the bottom and cutting off the excess. And you can see I grabbed um, the snowflakes on the left side, but I will not use them. I wanted to stitch them down around uh, my layout, but there's uh, already so much going on with all of the stars. And so I thought um, the snowflakes were too much. Now I'm looking um, into the stickers and here I grabbed the black and white word Christmas and I will place that on top of from the picture and I really like how that is looking but yeah like I said before I would change my mind and I will use um, the red word Christmas instead. Um, yeah I also wanted to use that uh, candy cane but I'm not pretty sure but I think I will use it later. <laughs> um, so I will use these gorgeous letters for the rest from my title. I used one of the um, letters as a number and so it's first Christmas and uh, now I'm looking for some puffy stickers and I will grab the speech bubble that said be merry and um, I believe I will grab some red um, tiny puffy dots for just uh, some more red little details. Um, I am also using that banner that said oh what fun and I love that touch of red on that little corner. 
or area. <laughs> so now I'm bringing in some red little dots and then I will, um, I'm not pretty sure. I think I am nearly done. I will add some journaling later and I will add uh, the date stamp, but that's it. Thank you and bye.